guys, it's Laura here. Oh my god, that light is really bad. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I haven't made a video in so long. This is going to be a bit of a what have I been up to kind of video. Um, a lot and then not a lot. I haven't done any vlogging in the house for a while. Not much has changed. Um, clearly we still have not painted, but um, Matt finally decided to um, hang the dryer up on the wall. I'm not complaining, but this is where he hanged it. <laughs> I can't reach. How am I supposed to get the clothes? <laughs> so he's going to have to sort something out. We also found the yummiest souffle pancakes here in Perth. Mm -hmm. souffle. Where do I start? It's fine. What's happening? I'm scoring some extra greens. I'm going to steal Matt's straws because I know he won't eat them. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fluffy. Like. <laughs> oh. That is a pancake. Oh my gosh. So sickly. And then we finally went to an arcade. But not the arcade that you're all thinking. We finally did something more to the house. Um, we had solar panels put on. not all the panels that um, it's just some of them we're actually getting 18 put up on the roof but I think what they've done is they've just plonked them in like different parts of the yard to get ready I thought I would add in here um, a little bit of update with the whole health thing um, I know a lot of people are going to start asking and I know some people have asked I've had people like send me some DMs through Instagram so on Monday, <laughs> today's Friday. So on Monday, um, I had an appointment with the hematology clinic at the hospital, um, and that was at 8.30 in the morning. I went to the hospital. I have no idea where the hematology clinic is. So as I walk in the door, I ask someone where to go. They have all these people at the, like, the front of the hospital telling you what area to go to. And I was like, I am looking for the hematology clinic. I have an appointment at 8.30. And the person goes, hematology, that's bloods, yeah? And I was like, me not thinking, like, why should this person be questioning me? Um, and I'm like, yeah. And then the guy goes, oh, that's great. Um, it's actually just here. So it was on the ground floor, really close to the reception desk. I saw all these other people sitting around waiting as well. So I'm like, oh, I must be in the right place. So I sat down and waited. Um, they, I was told that. They were busy so that asked me like if I can grab a number so I did that and then the reason why I thought I was in the right place is because I saw other people coming saying that they had an appointment and they were also told to like take a number and sit as well but then I started to notice like a lot of people just like being called up really quickly and I was like mm, why is no one calling my name and then um eventually the number I had was called up um and this was literally after waiting over an hour it was probably like an hour and 15 minutes and so I went, um, like I spoke to the woman and I was like, yeah, my name is Laura, I have an appointment. Um, and she's like, oh, no, it's not here. And I'm like, well, yeah. And I'm like, I was told I have an appointment with hematology. And she goes, well, this isn't hematology. And I'm like, well, this is where I was told to go. And then I was like, I put up my phone. My, um, the hospital sent me like a text message, like a reminder for my appointment and all that the day before. And she's like, hmm, I'm not sure. So this woman didn't even know where I needed to go, which was super confusing even for me. So um, she said, go to the front counter again and ask someone else where you're supposed to go. So I went back to the counter and they were like, it's upstairs, like literally right above where I was. And I'm like, for fuck's sake. So I went upstairs, went to that reception desk and the lady was like, oh, you're supposed to be here at half past eight. It's like quarter to 10 and I'm like, I've been here since 8.30. I was told to go down there. So I've been waiting only to find out I was in the wrong spot. And um, she's like, mm, mm, okay. So she goes, well, just give me a minute. I'm going to go speak to the doctor. And um, 
So she went out the back, told me to have a seat. So I sat down and then I saw someone come from the back out to reception desk who was wearing like doctor or nurse scrubs. Um, <laughs> I don't know. And they kind of took one look at me and gave me a really weird look and then walked out the back again. And I'm like, okay. And then the reception lady comes back out and speaks to me and she goes, the doctor can no longer see you because you've missed your appointment. And I'm like, well, it's not really my fault that I missed my appointment. It's the hospital for sending me to the wrong area. And she's like, mm, yeah. And then she was asking me, she goes, oh, who, um, who told you to go to that spot? And I was like, I because it was like a balcony, so you can kind of point over to the um, entrance. And I was like, oh, it was those people down there. And they wearing these yellow shirts. And the lady turns around and she goes, they're volunteers. And I'm like, well, how am I supposed to know? Like, I'm essentially like a customer, a patient. How am I supposed to know who's a volunteer and who works here? Like, and if you're volunteering somewhere, you should essentially know where to send patients if you're volunteering in a job to tell patients where to go. So I'm like, well, it's not really my fault. Um, and essentially the lady turned around to me and says, the appointment I had was a 45 minute appointment. I didn't know it was 45 minutes. Um, and I actually got really upset because I was like, it's frustrating, it's um, it's emotional, like I don't really fucking know what's going on with my health and and all the rest of it, so that's where I am. Um, and then, like, essentially she made another appointment for me, but it's not for another three weeks, so I have to wait three weeks to find out what the hell the haematology people want with me. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I went home. But then when I was sitting in the car, in the parking lot of the hospital, I, um, I was thinking about it and I was like, it's a 45 minute appointment. If I didn't show up for an appointment that's 45 minutes, that means that doctor wasn't doing anything for 45 minutes. Why didn't anyone call me? Why didn't anyone ring up and say, you're supposed to be here, where are you? <sighs> like, do they just sit around and not do anything for 45 minutes? Like, that just does not make sense to me. Um, but unfortunately, there's nothing much I can do about it and I'm just going to wait another three weeks. So that's where we are. Um, a good thing about that day is for some reason the boom gate at the hospital um, wasn't working so I got free parking. Um, <laughs> a lot of people don't understand this, like I know people from other countries, but the most expensive thing in Australian hospitals is the parking and to save $5 on parking that day was a bonus. Um, <laughs> and then later on that afternoon I had my doctor call me back up, so my local GP called me um, up about the CT scan that I had earlier in um, like the week before and the CT scan was to measure about the um, blood clot that I have yeah. oopsie daisy livers on this side um about the uh, blood clot in my liver and um he pretty much said to me that the artery is starting to open up but the blood clot is still there so I just have to keep taking these blood thinning tablets for the time being and that's where I am so Kind of sucks, but on the positive, we had in the meantime, we've had roller shutters put on the house, and now we're getting solar panels done. So that's where I am, and hopefully, hopefully, with these solar panels, when we get our electricity bills, it'll be free. So I mean, <laughs> I mean, I know, I know it might be free, but I know at least it'll be like almost free. Unfortunately, um, we're in like winter at the moment, so you get a lot of cloud coverage and I don't, you know, you don't accumulate as much like heat energy um, this time of the year, but at least um, it'll be something. And especially when summer comes around, when Matt complains that it's hot all the time, <laughs> um, we won't need to use as much power off the grid. So yeah. Fence capping is around. Yeah. Oh, they're looking good. It's exciting. There we go. The other ones are all on the other side of the house, but we won't be able to see them from where we are. So it's later on during the day now. Solar panels are done. Um, so it's kind of like eight on each section. So depending on the time of the day, we should get plenty of power. Um, not get power. I know I'm saying things incorrectly, but if you understand how power, but bleh, I don't know how to talk. If you understand how solar panels work, you understand what I mean, because I know I'm not saying it correctly. Um, so that's where we are now. <laughs> I'm kind of watching Netflix. Um, Matt has started to put the sheets on for the bottom of the fence. 
pants, which um, is pretty cool. I think it's going to take him a while. It's already like 4.30 in the afternoon. So that's where he's up to now. I'm um, starting to get hungry. But the food bags are on tonight. So let's see what happens. Oh, by the way, um, we decided to create Matt a Facebook page um, because Matt is a very picky eater and we just thought it was funny. I've only, sorry, we've only posted one thing so far, but the page is called Fuck the Salad. Um, I'll post a little link down below and please go give him a follow because I think you'll really like that. Don't expect a hell of a lot of content because Matt is not like active on social media like I am, um, but I think you'll like it. Matt finally decided to get rid of that stupid tree that was in the front yard. Pretty much what it was is the Shire decided to give us a street tree and they plumped it far too close to our driveway and that's like, I gotta rip this thing out of the ground. <laughs> Matt the muscle man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One in a hundred more to go. <laughs> That's good though. Going back to those pancakes, I can't tell if I like these ones more. Oh, it's there. Yeah, I like these. Oh ones. my goodness. <laughs> Matt finally decided to do a little bit more with our side gate, so um, he's fixed it so that way it touches itself to the side. Maddie the handyman and he's building a latch for our gate. Finally. <laughs> Getting there. Ooh. Yeah. We also discovered probably the only time that a scam caller is giving out good advice. Alright. Yeah. This is just a test call. Time to stay home. Stay safe and stay home. <laughs> How's that lighting going? <laughs> it's almost like an Instagram filter. <laughs> and then... Shit hit the fan. Currently at Bunnings. Um, we've just finished. That's quickly popping over to Autobahn because he wants to get something for the car. We have been looking at um, like an outdoor seating area. Last thing, um, so Perth got one case of COVID yesterday. Seriously, one case. We are so happy living in our little travel bubble here in Western Australia, but no, people want to go holidaying and fuck it up for the rest of us. Yes, I'm um, talking out of jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually it really kind of bugs me because some people travel for the dumbest reasons like yesterday I was flicking through um, Instagram and there were a couple of people from Australia saying that they were like leaving and going overseas claiming it was for work and I was like oh yeah what do you do for work turns out it's James Charles like manager and I'm like Ugh, gross like that's not something to be proud of <laughs> but anyway that's where we are, and because you got one idiot that decided to bring the Rona back. <laughs> I know I'm being nasty. It's like I know you like they don't help like catching the virus, but it's it's their fault for catching the virus. <laughs> now I'm gonna wear masks for three days, and then Marky McGovernor decided to do his press conference this morning and let us know that there is one more case. So now we currently have two cases. I know it's really funny considering that there's so many other countries and they have like thousands of cases but our government's like lock it down um, every time there is a case and it's kind of annoying because you want to go do things um, like we're not too bad but I think what's going to happen is that this is going to be more cases so like put us into a little lockdown and it's kind of a pain because you know you miss out on work, you miss out making money Okay, change plan. We're currently at the servo and we're gonna go to another Bunnings because Matt decided to lose his car keys on the weekend. He went out night clubbing and left them at a nightclub. So uh, we need to go get keys cut and the Bunnings we were at, the key cutting machine was kind of broken. So off to a second one. The cool thing about these is you can actually eat them, but 
They're really big, so I don't think I would want that in my garden. <laughs> There's a loud noise outside, I don't know what it is, but remember yesterday how I was going on about people with COVID and stop bringing it into our state? Like, I know I was being a little bitch and all that, but um, yeah. Turns out we're in another lockdown. <laughs> um, so what happened was uh, we, Matt and I were watching Netflix last night and I'm watching a movie and so we're not really like flicking through our phone or anything like that so we didn't really want to know what's going on and um, then we finished I'm like oh, okay I'll have a look at my little Facebookies and uh, see my friends are posting that we're going into lockdown and I'm like what the hell so I check out Mark McGovern's Facebook page um, he's our state premier and um, yeah he confirmed that we are now in a lockdown for four days which means I can't go to work until the Saturday and I like my workies and the funny thing was these came in the mail for me today and so I think it was the mailman like just playing with me being like haha oh, you can't go to the salon um because I really wanted to use my new brushes but oh well next up is Matt finally starts to do something with the front yard um it's a work in progress Ooh, they put some footing in for um a garden bed well laying down the four bricks Hey, Dad. You did Okay, update on the lockdown thing. I can go back to the salon now, um, but we still have to wear masks and stuff like that. And I just realized I still put lipstick on. It's also have it. All right, first time going out into the sun. Um, ooh, need some keys. First time going out into the sun in five days. <laughs> That's bad. Ah, bright light, bright light. I can't handle it. So it was really good being able to get back out in the salon today. Um, it, it's really annoying every time I have a lockdown because you know it's it's business money, and money is important and it makes the world go round. You know what? I'm just complaining because I haven't brought the right lottery ticket yet. <laughs> Matt is back outside again and he is um, going to do some more bricks. Um, sorry, that's my finger. I think he's done pretty well considering he is an amateur. He's never done it before. Things have started to get really cold here in Perth. And <laughs> driving into the fog. What a two two nine. I love Matt so much. He literally just brought me jam and cream scones in bed. So sweet. Can you hear that? It's so loud. Okay, this is like our first experience of hailing this house and it's already flooding out. Probably won't even be able to see. Oh my god! <laughs> our poor drainage system is not working. Because we have no lawn to soak it up. Unfortunately, all this rain's gonna keep up for another week or two, so I think all of Matt's work is gonna take a long time to get done, unfortunately. Uh, I have an appointment today 
with the hematology department. It's my second attempt because last time, remember, it didn't quite work out and I got sent to the wrong place. Um, it's really early in the morning and I'm filming on my mobile phone, which is why the quality is crap. Um, so my appointments are half past 11. It's only like seven o'clock at the moment. So I still got ages. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go back to bed. <laughs> How's my Instagram filter going? <laughs> Attempt two, it was finally time for me to go back to see the doctor. So I've made it back out to the hospital. The old stomping ground. Wish me luck. I'm back in the car. All right, I can take my beanie off now. I put it on because it's like a rainy day. Good news. Um, so I just finished my hematology appointment and he said that all I have to do is keep taking my blood thinners for another month. And the only reason why he's saying that is like, it's like a just in case. Um, and then I should be good and I won't have to keep taking them anymore. So pretty much they're saying that the blood clot is still there, but it's getting smaller and the artery has kind of opened up and then another artery has like gone bigger or something like that. I don't know if I'm explaining it properly, but pretty much what it is, is because the artery was kind of blocked and that part of the liver wasn't getting enough blood flow, another one kind of opens up and blah, 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 and they can all through so the blood can flow. Um, and... Yeah, to be honest with you, when I went in for my appointment, I had no idea what I was going in for. It was either like the cancer thing or the hematology was for the liver, but I was like, I'll just find out when I get there. And at least now I know. Um, he also confirmed that the cancer side of thing, I'm great. I don't have to worry about it. It should be gone. Um, I, it's just the liver thing. So, um, <laughs> I just feel like it's really good news. I'm really flushed because I, I just took my mask off. It's really hot wearing a mask. Um, I can't sit here too long. The boom gate is working, so I had to pay for parking. And I don't know how much of a time limit you get to sit in your car before you actually have to leave after paying for it. Um, but at least I know that I'm done. I'm heading home now. Sorry, I just feel really good. And the really cool thing is, is all I have to do is just keep checking these little tablets for... Another month, I don't even have to go back to my GP for that one, which is great. Let's start my car. Um, and yeah, so my thing is now is I'm going home. My car is beeping at me because it's saying, do a service. Service was due at 150,000 Ks and my car is now sitting on 191,000 Ks. <laughs> um, <laughs> one lady owner, <laughs> no, it's not really decided to um, make a little pit stop on the way home I thought being cooped up in the house for so long it's about time I get a little bit of sunlight fresh air I should say there is no sunlight um, I've come out to Bells Rapids it is a rainy day so I'm most likely gonna get stuck in the rain but I need fresh air and after having good news from the doctors today um, I thought it was time I go out <laughs> I totally forgot that it's school holidays, so there is quite a few people out and about. <laughs> hey, well. So I've decided to take another route that I've never, I don't usually travel. Uh, typical, I climb a wall and <laughs> these three girls followed me. Um, and I actually spoke to them and I said I'm going to dawdle and walk very slowly because I kind of like to be by myself sometimes because I like to look at things. But I've come to look at this side of the bridge so I get a nice little picky because I've never taken a photo from this side before. Beautiful! I'm not going to hang around there too long. I'm going to keep walking to the falls mainly because I don't know how long the rain's going to hold up for. I was trying to look on the bomb website, um, the radar, but can't get reception. <laughs> Typical. Heading there. I'm nowhere near the waterfall. It's all the way up there. Check it out. Ah, that's so cool. I don't have to worry about my blood clot. 
I feel good. Guys, I've come all this way. And there's the falls. And I can see the swing. <laughs> the swing is going to be so wet, but I kind of just don't care. I'm probably just having this realization that I don't got cancer no more. And my blood clot is nothing to worry about. And just feeling a so I come to the bottom of the waterfall. <laughs> That's me for you. Alright, I'm gonna play. It's so nice being at the fall. The only problem was I was really hoping to like play on the swing, but since we've been here last time, the swing has obviously broken because so I can see the old one laying on the ground. And they've replaced it, but the best thing we've had at the rope accidentally put it too low. So it's like hitting that um log. I'm sorry, not hitting, like, hitting the rock. But it's still awesome. I'm so happy I came out here. I'm gonna have to start hitting back. It's gonna start kissing down in about five minutes. But I've been here for quite a long time and I'm pretty happy. <laughs> I probably could have stayed at the falls just that little bit longer, but because of the weather and the rain, I'm starting to head back. Um, it's so beautiful. I love my country. <laughs> um, I just thought I would add this in here. A lot of people go out hiking and they bring all like the big equipment and all the rest of it. And mate, I hike in Kmart shoes. $3.50s. I don't care if they get dirty because they were $3.50. I'm just wearing leggings. I have a jumper on. I didn't bring any water because I, the hike I'm doing is actually very small. Um, I'm oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye. And if anyone's wondering where the secret pathway kind of starts, come up here. I'm currently snuggled up in a blanket on the couch because oh, I was eating tear nerves. <laughs> um, yeah, because it's kind of cold now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end this one here. And see if it looks like. I might just add in the next few videos that I'm going to make is actually going to be from when Matt and I went to Broome. Um, and that was back in October last year. I've been sitting on this content for quite a long time, but I haven't actually edited anything. And it was a little bit of, you know, life was getting kind of busy at that time. Um, and then I started to feel a bit unwell. And then I just kind of lost motivation on actually making them. I, I don't know why, I just kind of had them sitting there. I love looking through like the footage and I love going through my like photos of my trip. But I think it's about time that I finally start going through and putting them into little movies because that's what I like doing. It's like a little hobby of mine. So the next few will be that. And then afterwards, you will be able to see what we've been up to with the house. <laughs>